Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. This game is etched in the lore of college football. Think of some of the great performances in the AT&T Cotton Bowl. Joe Montana once had to drink chicken soup just to get well enough to lead the Fighting Irish to a come-from-behind victory. Great running backs like Earl Campbell have played in this game. We are fired up and ready for the latest chapter of the AT&T Cotton Bowl. We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. in the heart of Texas is where we can be found. We're at the AT&T Cotton Bowl. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Clemson has been waiting all week for this one. Get ready, folks. The opening kickoff is finally here. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Quick throw to the back, it's incomplete. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 25. Quick throw, knocked out of bounds at the 34. run and he's brought down it looked like the defense might have been expecting the pitch on the option but instead the quarterback kept it and converted here on third down from their own 40 yard line first down throws complete he's got room to work he's at the 40 and they finally push him out at the 35. That's a big catch for this young guy because it puts him over 1,000 yards receiving on the season. He should be proud because he's put in a lot to get here. Not everyone's willing to go the extra distance to better themselves. From the 35-yard line, first down. Gets out to around the 25. The offense coordinator has to be elated with the way his offense right now is executed. They're not in a hurry, but they're very, very methodical and very consistent with their approach. That's the third first down that they've picked up on this drive. Caught out of the open. And they make the stop at about the 13. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz. And the quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. He fights forward to about the 13. Here's the eighth play of the series. And he's level at the 11. And here's another third down. Strike complete, he's down. 
it'll be short of the first after the completion. Well, good effort by the defense to make sure they got him before he got to the marker. Washington could take the lead with this field goal. He gets it up, and it sails through the uprights. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. Ramsey has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. Oh, what a hit. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Fires quickly and it's picked off at the 30 to the 20. That's a great tackle at the 14. Really nice cover skill shown here this time. That's exactly what you want to see from your young corners. From the 14-yard line, it's first down. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Steps out of bounds around the seven-yard line. Did you see how he looked that ball into his hands? That's how you catch a football. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was in bounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. After review the play, the ruling on the field stands. Well, I think the play warranted a review, but the call on the field stands. Washington has a three-point lead. And he carries the ball for a nice game. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. They come out in a goal line set. He's got a touchdown. The tight end does a nice job coming down with that touchdown catch. He certainly did, Brad. This guy's a big-time threat inside the 10-yard line because of his size. He can outmuscle defensive backs for the ball. And he tacks on the extra point. With a three-play, 14-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They need to show a little giddy up now because if they don't start eating into this deficit, they could easily fall out of the game. And he's tackled around the 25-yard line. their own 25-yard line. Second down. Nice run there. Chipley gains about five yards on the run. right side got his tailback he's to the 40 and he is drilled at the 44 yard line from their own 44 yard line first down on the delay he's taken down right around the 42 yard line He's tackled at the 32. You know what? After a play like that, 
I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Mike 42, Mike 42. Go! He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. Taken down around the 20 yard line. That brings up second and one. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Brought down around the 18 yard line. We're at play number nine of this current drive. He gets out to about the eight. That's good for being in 10 yards. That brings up second. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Touchdown, Tigers. Boy, he looked determined running the football. Nobody was going to keep him out of the end zone. And I really think this team needed that touchdown to keep this game close. Turning a 10-point deficit into a 3-point deficit is crucial, even though it's early in the game. And he hits the PAT. A nice 10-play, 74-yard drive. And they put up 7 points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. Washington's offense is really looking dangerous so far in this one, Kirk. I mean, what's the defense going to do to slow them down? I think you have to start somewhere, and that, that somewhere, I think, is stopping the run. You have to load up, take your chances, put extra numbers in the box. Once you stop the run, that can allow you to put some pressure on their passing game. But right now, they're not stopping the run or the pass. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Second and five. Ball on the 30-yard line. Washington is up by three. Up the middle for a nice game. Another handoff. Nice run there as they work the outside. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Fires out to his receiver, and he's tackled right away. Wins it out there incomplete. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 46 yard line. And down he goes to the 38 yard line. A long way yet to go, but at the end of one, Washington's got a three-point lead. Set to resume action here in the second quarter, and we've got a tight ball game. 
Washington is up a field goal. He fights forward to about the 29. That'll make it second to seven. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. He's at the 20. They'll bring him down around the nine yard line. You talk about a dual threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. First down and they've got their eyes on that goal line. They come out on an empty backfield. Nice run up the middle. This is the 11th play of the current drive. Check girls, check girls, check girls. Check girls. Check girls. Check girls. Tackle made at the two-yard line, and the halfback's got nowhere to go. We've watched this guy play, and over the course of his college career, he's made some spectacular tackles. Nice play. Third down and goal to go. Two yards to the end zone. It's away from him, touchdown! When you're that close to the end zone, it's always a smart play to find your blockers and follow them into the end zone. He splits the uprights with the extra point. So a 12-play, 74-yard drive, and the result, seven points. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. It can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. This is my kind of game. We're getting a chance to see so many touchdowns. I just wonder if this offense could continue the flow that we've seen from the previous three series. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Tackle at the 23-yard line. That makes it second and ten. It's second and ten. Ball on the 23-yard line. And he shoved out of bounds at the 24. That'll make it third and nine. Rose right intercepted. And they make the stop at the 24 yard line. The defense here comes up with a huge interception. They've already got the lead, and it looked like this offense was trying to get back in the game, but that was a big turnover. From the 24-yard line, first down. And he tackles him hard at the 17. They come out in a five-wide set. Caught open field. And he hits him hard at the four. It's first down. First and goal. They're going to go play action inside the five. Here's the time to do it. Shows some moves and he's in. So the halfback took it in for six. Simple play call there by the offensive coordinator. Just give it to the back and let him find his way into the end zone. He makes the PAT. So a short three play, 24 yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. The score now, 
24-7. Ramsey has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Now here comes the offense, and you've got to wonder if that last interception's weighing on the quarterback's mind at all. This quarterback can make good passes. He just needs to focus on not forcing the ball to his receivers. And he's tackled around the 37-yard line. From their own 37-yard line. First down. He fights forward to about the 39. Gaining two yards. That makes it second and eight. He's tackled in the open field. From their own 40-yard line, third down. Quick throw. He's taken down around the 42-yard line. He's just broken the school's record for passing yards in a season. He's taken apart every secondary they've faced, and now he's got this great achievement to show for it. It's first and ten. Ball on the 42-yard line. Tackled after a decent pickup. That's a gain of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Hey, check, check back, 11, check back, 11. Come on! He's under pressure. Quick throw out to the receiver. He's tackled at the 19. Man, did he ever sell the run? The defense took the bait, and that hesitation was enough to give the receiver room to make the catch. First and 10. Ball on the 19-yard line. The Tigers had one of their key players go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the lineup. He's into the open field. He gets out to about the 11-yard line. That makes it second and two. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. Touchdown, Clemson! It takes a lot of strength to run it when you're heading into a massive pile of bodies. Good job of holding on to it and getting it across the goal line. And he tacks on the extra point. So a nine-play, 74-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Clemson is lining up to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This offense threw the ball extremely well on their last drive, and they ended up with a touchdown. You know, this offensive coordinator has got to be feeling so good about the execution that he's seeing from his quarterback and his wide receiver. Because, again, they put so much time into trying to put a plan together, and to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a play caller. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 49. Dangerous throw. This one's picked off. He's at the 40. He's at the 30, to the 20, the 10. And he's all the way in for the touchdown. Man, that 
was a super play by the defender. Excellent interception and an even better return for the score. Here's the extra point to get within a field goal. And he adds the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It's going to be interesting now to see if this quarterback can put that last throw behind him. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes. That's a great tackle at the 18. But the defense is fired up, responding and reacting to that sack. Not only do they get the quarterback, but they hit him and hit him hard. I think that can really create some confidence for this defense. The next time this quarterback drops back to throw, you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun shy and concerned about the pressure that these defense is putting on him. Two minutes to go in the half. Washington holds a field goal lead. Fires incomplete, knocked away. This is just an example of a safety reading the eyes of the quarterback and being able to get a good jump on the football and knock that away from the receiver. Makes it out to about the 26. The defense might have gotten a little bit lax there, but they were still able to prevent the first. He dropped it. That's a tough break. Whether you lose the ball or not, it can mess with your head when that happens. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He's pushed out of bounds around the 36-yard line. That makes it second and ten. From their own 36-yard line. Second down. Brought down around the 41-yard line. He scrambled. And he can't get away from the pressure. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you're definitely going to feel it the next day. And that'll be three and out. And they're coming after this punter. Davis takes it to 28. Brought down at the 34-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. In the shotgun and five wideouts. And it's caught for the 10. Touchdown saving tackle, but it leaves him with a first and goal. Washington has a three-point lead. Now he's scrambling. And he's taken down around the two-yard line. He's scrambling. Diving for extra yardage. Easy, easy, easy. Lucky, shit, lucky. Shit. Five wide. Throws quickly into the end zone. Caught for the touchdown. And 
did that play ever develop nicely? Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. And he hits the PAT. A four-play, 66-yard drive. And they come away with seven points. So our score, 31-21. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Tigers quarterback, Kirk, he has done his job. Unfortunately, there's 22 guys on a team, and one guy's doing a great job. The other 21 aren't so much. Yeah, it's not going uh, the way they had hoped or planned. Right now, you're right. The quarterback's doing what he needs to do to be able to move the ball. But uh, the, the running backs, the wide receivers, the offensive line, the entire group, they've got to do a better job right now. When you look at that scoreboard, they've got to be really frustrated to think that they're down. Now, they still have time to get back in the game, and we'll see if they can adjust their mental mindset. Quarterback stats are one thing. Winning the game is what's more important. And he's level at the 49. That's the kind of poise you'd love to see from your quarterback because it's contagious. The defense sent all of their linebackers on a blitz and no one on the offense looked phased. They came away with big yards and a first down. Well, a man down and the trainers on their way out to have a look. Jack, Jack, 98 Weasel, 98 Weasel. And they got him. Clemson's called their final timeout. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. The Huskies saw one of their top players going down earlier, but it looks like he's going to be able to get back in there. So we'll probably get one last heave to the end zone here before halftime. And they got him. We're halfway through, and it's been a good one. The Huskies with a 10-point lead. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. This lead at halftime is not insurmountable. You know, you watched the first half and I really felt as if this team played hard. They played with a lot of energy and a lot of emotion. Just to be honest about it, David, the coaching staff seemed to be a half step behind. The other guy was ahead of them. They knew their tendencies. Second half, you expect to see them break some of those tendencies? Sometimes you have to. I mean, sometimes you come out and obviously you you put your game on tape. They, the coaches know what you're going to come out and what to expect from you. And sometimes quarterbacks, they don't like to push the ball down the field. They like to take the easy stuff. You got to take it away. Take away what they do best. And you could tell the first half, they weren't ready for what came their way. Now it's your, it's your job at the half to come in, put a plan together, be more aggressive. You're down two scores now. You can't afford to be cautious. Put something together to come out to have success in the second half. That's going to do it at halftime. Just about ready to start the second half. All right, you finish it up, bro. I'm going to get something in the cafeteria. I'm hungry. But wait, wait, don't leave until you get my order. Brad Kirk, take the second half. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action, just about ready to start here. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Pass is caught, the defense lays him out. Second it's second down, six to go. Ball on the 29-yard line. Tackled for a loss. Those linebackers do a great job of stopping the run. But they need to be careful to play action pass. You can easily get fooled and give up some big yards through the air. Got it on the quick throw. He's 
to the 40. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 41. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. Finds his man, and they take him down immediately. That brings him second and five. All day, just like that. Just like that. Hey, Mike's for two. Mike's for two. And that one's incomplete. Well, that is a big hit by the defense there. Good job of timing up the hit. And he didn't get there too early for the pass interference. He waited till the receiver touched the football, and then he was able to dislodge the ball from the receiver. Fires out to his wideout. He steps up at the 40-yard line. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. From the 40-yard line, first down. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. The defense scoops it up. What do you think about that last turnover, Kirk? Way to be heads up out there. That corner just made one heck of a play recovering that fumble. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. So the question here is whether or not his knee hit the ground before the ball came out. So after some discussion, the call on the field is reversed. They bring the quarterback down. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 30. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. And they make the stop at the 30-yard line. And they can make this a one-possession game with this kick right here. It has the distance. No good. He missed it to the right. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. There's a strike complete. Knocked out of bounds. Right around the 34. That makes it second and six. It's second and six. Ball on their own 34. Here they go on the draw, and they'll lose yards. That makes it third and seven. He's under pressure. Zips it to the tailback incomplete. That'll make it fourth down, and they're going to have to punt. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well.
They bring him down, and they bring him down hard on that one. Kirk, this defensive lineman has made a statement with his play tonight. Well, Brad, to me, it really just looks like it's just men against boys out there. This guy's been in on so many plays, it's like his own highlight film. Yeah, with three sacks, you might want to start chipping this guy. You know, you better use a running back, you better use a tight end, anything you can to slow him down. It's always nice to play this well in a bowl game when you can help your team earn a trophy. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Quick strike, and he drops it. It's second and ten. Ball on the 37-yard line. He's on the run. He gets sacked on the play. He goes downtown. The junior makes the catch. The 10. He's all the way. Touchdown. They pretty much had their way with the defense there. Terrific play. to get within a field goal. They'll try the point after. And he converts the extra point. Clemson gets set to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Tigers staff has got a winner on their hands. You've been around kids like this. They're just fun to be around. They're fun to be around, and I think it's infectious. His attitude, I think, uh, permeates throughout this entire offense and really uh, throughout the entire team. There's, it's no wonder this team is so competitive with him at the, at the front leading the way. Gets to about the 27-yard line. That makes it second and eight. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on their own 27. Washington is up a field goal. Quick out to his receiver. And he shoved out of bounds right around the 40. He's at midfield. He gets hit out of bounds at the 43. From the 43-yard line, first down. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. the middle for a nice game. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. He's going to try and scramble. Looking for the corner. Here's an opening. Decides to slide. They move the sticks after another first down. Impressive drive by this offense so far. I really like what they're doing by keeping this defense on their heels and moving the ball downfield. He fights forward to about the 23. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 23-yard line. Washington holds a field goal lead. He 
He's out of bounds at the 19. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. They'll bring him down around the 13-yard line. They just inch past the marker. Yeah, it looked like he got it just by the nose of the football. First and 10. Ball on the 13-yard line. He lost the ball. It's picked up. So the offense turns over the pigskin. The ball carrier here was just careless in handling the ball. And a great awareness by the defense to jump on. And the booth is going to take a few looks at this to see whether or not the ball came out before he was down. Well, after seeing the replay, it was apparent that his knee was down before he lost the ball. Yep. Those guys in the booth aren't perfect, but they got it right this time. There's a perfect play call. They looked like they practiced that one a few times. He makes the PAT. So a 10 play, 68 yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running runs. So the score now 38 28. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. For Washington, they've been getting into the backfield quite a bit. This aggressive defense has enjoyed multiple sacks tonight. They also gotten them to turn it over twice. This offense's best bet seems to be to keep the ball on the ground. Well, they are running it pretty well, so that wouldn't be a bad thing. You take the yards however you can get them. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Makes the catch and look out. He's tackled right around the 28-yard line. Second and seven. Ball on their own 28. And he's tackled around the 40-yard line. Unbelievable! This defense just continues to impress. This just must feel like a bad dream to this offensive coordinator. Nothing has gone right today, and his quarterback is really off target. Brought down around the 42-yard line. Loss of two on the run by the halfback. Three down and one to go. Washington's got a 10-point lead. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Got his man. He's taken down around the 25 yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 25. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. They get nice yardage on that run. That makes it seven and six. Right and left, right and left. 
Tailback brought down for a loss. That's a loss of three yards on the ball. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. Zips it to the back. He's gobbled up in the backfield. That's a loss of about three. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. Kicks away, and he missed it to the right. You know, for a second there, I thought it might hook back, but it just kept slicing to the right. That's a tough break. The offense comes out to start this drive, and they're hoping for a better result as they threw a pick on their last possession. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. From their own 27-yard line, it's second down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's good for a game of five yards. Third down. Crosses left, intercepted, and they'll return this one all the way. And he's taken down at the five. He seemed a little hesitant on that throw, and that left the defender time to break on the ball and pick it off. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. They come out on an empty backfield. And down he goes at the two-yard line. Touchdown, Huskies! He passes for his third touchdown of the game. The one thing this quarterback does a nice job of is taking what the defense gives him. He's always looking for the open target. And he hits the PAT. A quick two-play, five-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. They line up to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Clemson's had a really hard time establishing any kind of rhythm on offense today. Yeah, and we're so used to seeing that from them. They might want to go back and, and look at this film and try to study to see what they didn't do well because this is not uh, the type of offense you'd expect to see from these guys. Gets it out quickly. And they push him out at the 34-yard line. That brings up second and one. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Going right to his tailback. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 35. That makes it first and ten. This quarterback is tough as nails, Brad. He's going to sit in that pocket and give himself a chance. The only problem is, at some point, you've got to have a feel. Almost that sixth sense on when to get out of there and avoid the pressure, or just to throw the ball before you get hit. 
Quick throw. Tackle made at about the 39-yard line. Third and six. Ball on their own 39. And they make the stop at the 40. Gets rid of it quickly. Can't find his man, and they'll turn it over. Big stop by the defense. Boy, the defense was waiting on that one. They've seen plays like that all season long, and they came up with a great stop. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Now he tries to buy some time. They'll make the sack. And for Carter, that's his fifth sack of the season. He really fought to get to the quarterback that time. He's certainly shown that he can get it done on a week-to-week -week basis. They come up to the line here at second down and 14 after the sack. He's pushed out of bounds right around the 42-yard line. From the 26 yard line, first down, less than three minutes in the game. run there. Davis picks up five with the carry. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. From the 15-yard line, it's first down. Gets it out in a hurry. Knocked down, incomplete. That makes it second and ten. Second and ten. Ball on the 15. They'll line up with five wide receivers. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Davis gets about four yards on the play. Here's the eighth play of the series. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. What a play, and that is first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Touchdown, Washington. He splits the uprights with the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. 
They'll bring him down at the 29-yard line. It's been a tough outing for this quarterback, Kirby. Well, this is a defense's best opportunity to show what they can do to be able to dominate a football game. And if you're an offense, you might be able to move the ball, but if you're turning the ball over and you're having sacks on every other play, you just can't move the ball effectively. For Washington, it's a case of the defense doing a great job of capitalizing on the quarterback's mistakes. I'm sure there are a lot of fans out there hoping for a miracle, but I seriously doubt we're going to see one today. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. The Tigers taking their first time out of the half. From their own 40-yard line. First down. They'll bring him down at the 48. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. Quickly to the tight end. He's tackled at the 47-yard line. Pass complete there for about five yards and a first down. And that's just great execution on that short pass play. When you've got a quarterback making throws that quickly, the defense doesn't have a lot of time to react to the play. And he's tackled around the 38-yard line. That's going to do it for this one. Our final score, Washington 52, Clemson 28. As we finish up the broadcast, what do you have to say about how this game turned out, Kurt? Well, this was shaping up to be a really close game, but they did what they had to do, made some big plays, and were able to pull away. Washington could have just as easily found themselves on the other end of this score. That's how even these two teams were coming in. But they played the better game today and should be very happy about the win. Take a look at our choice for today's player of the game. He made a big contribution to his team's win. For the Huskies, they rack up their 13th win of the year. And for Clemson, losing's not something they experience much this year, but today's loss brings them to 13-2 on the year.